Hey everyone, Austin here with The Real Seal, back again for another blog video to talk to you about six reasons why you should be using polyjacking for your concrete leveling. It is fast and effective. Polyjacking foam only takes about 15 minutes until you can start using the area in which it was injected. This makes the solution very quick and better than doing concrete or mud jacking or even full replacement of the concrete, which takes a lot longer so you're out of the area for a much longer time. Second reason that polyjacking foam is really great to use is that it's non-invasive. It's not going to start washing away with more rain like mud jacking might, and it won't get anywhere that it's not supposed to go. So it really stays right where it is once we install it, ensuring that you have a good repair for years to come. On top of that, polyjacking foam is lightweight. So as opposed to the 100 pounds a cubic foot that you'll get with the concrete and mud jacking, polyfoam only weighs about two to four pounds, meaning you're not putting a lot of extra weight onto an area that's already sinking, causing and exasperating even more issues. On top of all that, the polyfoam is non-toxic and safe, so you're not worrying about chemicals leaching into the ground. The product is inert, so once it activates, it's in there and it's not going anywhere. So you don't need to worry about it killing grass or leaching into your water or septic or any of that kind of stuff. It's something that is a very safe product to use so that you can level out your concrete. Probably the biggest concern of most homeowners, it's cost effective. So it really doesn't cost a whole lot to get your concrete leveled with polyjacking, especially when compared to replacing the entire concrete slab, which is a lot more expensive, especially nowadays. And lastly, polyjacking foam is waterproof. The technical term for it is hydrophobic. It's literally afraid of water. It'll push water out of the way while we're injecting, and it'll stop water from getting into it and moving it around once it's already been injected and applied. So this waterproof solution is better than, say, when you're injecting mud underneath, where a big rain can then just reactivate all that mud and wash it under, causing the issue to happen again. A couple of different causes of concrete settling could be mainly poor water management, where the water's getting underneath and washing away soil, allowing that concrete to settle. Poorly compacted soil at the time of construction can also be a cause as that concrete now starts to compact that soil underneath. And then tree roots are another major cause where tree roots get underneath, heave it up, and then also then die and the roots deteriorate away and the concrete can go back down. If you've got any questions about polyjacking or how it pertains to concrete leveling, just give us a call over at The Real Seal. We're not everything's better when wet. Thank you.